Hi K Babies, it's Miss Doster and we're going to complete our final story problem of the year. Um, this one will be about a little girl named Zuri. Zuri bought eight packs of gum. Each pack has three pieces of gum. How many pieces of gum did Zuri buy? That's my first read. Remember, you do not touch your pencil for that one. Now I'm going to read it a second time. When I read it a second time, you're going to um, mark up your problem. Excuse me. You're going to mark up your problem. Zuri bought eight packs of gum. Each pack has three pieces of gum. How many pieces of gum did Zuri buy? When you mark up your problem, you should be circling your numbers. So eight and three should be circled. You should be underlining your unit. That's what we're referring to in the story problem. So packs of gum and pieces of gum should be underlined. And then you should also cloud your action if there is one. However, this one is a relationship-based problem, so it does not have an action. Um, but you need to pay attention to a keyword. The keyword is each. Because this lets you know that we're grouping or we have a repeated addition problem. Now I'm going to read it a third time. And when I read it the third time, you're going to write a number sentence to match the story problem. Zuri bought eight packs of gum. Each pack has three pieces of gum. How many pieces of gum did Zuri buy? So right here, you'll see my number sentence. And for kindergarten, we do something called repeated addition. So for this one, we see that we have eight packs and that each pack has three pieces of gum. So right now I have three lines to represent those, I mean eight lines to represent those eight um, packs of gum. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And on each line, I put three. The number three represents the three pieces of gum in each pack. So three plus 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 three. Plus three. And now we can move on to solving. Um, a strategy that uh, a lot of our kids use, especially Kalea, is she likes to draw out the picture to represent the story. So right here, what I've done is drawn out packs of gum. This is the first pack. This is the second pack. This is the third pack. This is the fourth pack. This is the fifth pack, sixth pack, seventh pack, eighth pack. Um, so with those eight, within those eight packs of gum, there are three pieces in each one. So inside you'll see I've drawn three different boxes to represent the three pieces of gum. One, two, three. 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 And then to solve, you'll see that I count them all together. I'll count them all together by making sure that I double label. So when I double label, I'm gonna write my numbers on top while I count them all together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. We have 24 pieces of gum. Notice the distinction between pieces and packs. These circles represent the packs, but the boxes represent the pieces. So our answer will represent the pieces of gum. So right here, you see I've written the number 24 in my box because we have 24 pieces of gum. Now, at the bottom of my paper, of my paper you see that I have an answer sentence where I write, Zuri bought 24 pieces of gum. Make sure that after you um, press play on this video, and I've read it three times, that you stop and you pause the children to make sure that they retell the story to you, just to make sure they have an understanding of what's taking place in the story. Thank you.